How's it going? Chris from Blu-ray Critic and on today's update we're going to take a look at two brand new releases from Arrow Video US and that is Suture and The Swinging Cheerleaders which is a film directed by Jack Hill. So starting things off with Suture and this is a neo-noir film which is directed by Scott McGee and David Siegel who previously worked on a couple of short films before they made their first feature film of course in uh, Suture and th this film was released in 1993 and it's one of those films I can't talk about too much because I don't want to spoil it for you but basically the film centers around a character named Vincent Towers which is played by uh, Michael Harris and he commits a murder and he tries to fake his own death and uh, little does he know it's going to come back and bite him in the rear so I, that's all I will say as far as plot goes but uh, it's just a really well made film and the picture and audio quality is absolutely outstanding for this release from Arrow Video and this is a 4k restoration so let's take a look at the uh, bonus content so besides Michael Harris the film also co-stars Dennis uh, Haysbert who does many of those Allstate commercials and I'm sure you're familiar with him you know he's the guy with the very deep voice but uh, he's been in so many different films through the years and many different TV shows as well so this is a source as I mentioned from a brand new 4k restoration from the original camera negative and the picture quality is just absolutely outstanding you know grain is uh intact throughout the whole film but you can see every little fine detail which was just absolutely jaw-dropping how incredible the picture looks so I'm gonna rate the uh, picture a solid 5 out of a 5 and I'm gonna give the audio track a solid 5 out of a 5 a really wonderful audio mix going so you get also a brand new audio commentary with writer-directors David Siegel and Scott McGee which is moderated by uh, Steven Soderbergh really great audio commentary plus the making of Suture which is a new documentary containing interviews with uh, Siegel Eagle McGee and also the actors uh, Dennis Haysbert, uh, Mel Harris, and um, the list goes on. You know, interviews with also the cinematographer, the composer. Plus, you get uh, Birds Past, which is a uh, short film directed by Siegel and McGee, and that's their first short film. And of course, you get the European theatrical trailer, reversible artwork with the booklet itself, U.S. theatrical trailer, and uh, yeah, man, just so many great uh, features. So let's take a look inside the package. Suture is also uh, presented in the 2 by 35 aspect ratio, and uh, this is a region-free release, so nice artwork on there on the Blu-ray disc. Of course, the DVD disc is also included, and you get the original artwork, which is rather interesting. I like that. And of course, the great booklet with uh, tons of great materials to read here about the production of the film. So pretty awesome on that. But yeah, really great performance by uh, Dennis Hasbert. The film itself is just really, really well made film. And uh, it's just one of those films that if you're a fan of film noir style movies, you will definitely enjoy this one. It just really keeps you at the edge of your seat with great uh, performances all around and beautiful cinematography. But uh, yeah, that is uh, Suture, so let's move on to the next release from Arrow Video. Next up, I got the classic film by Jack Hill, which is The Swinging Cheerleaders, and uh, beautifully showcases the whole lifestyle of the college football players and cheerleaders as they mess around with different guys, and the same thing happens with the... You know, the guys themselves cheating around with different women. But it, uh, you know, showcases the whole lifestyle of what the 70s was all about. And uh, this is actually the first film that uh, Quentin Tarantino selected for his film festival in Austin, Texas, uh, way back in uh, 1996. So what's that, uh, like 20 years ago. And uh, what's also interesting to note, uh, they started working on this script at the end of January uh, 1974. And by May of that year, this film was already in theater, so that was a pretty uh, quick turnaround. And it was a 12-day shoot to uh, film the whole movie, but uh, yeah, relatively quick. So this is sourced from a, a brand new 2K restoration, and it contains uh, several special features, so let's take a look at that. So you get a brand new audio commentary by writer-director Jack Hill, which is recorded exclusively for this Arrow video release. And what's interesting to note is Jack Hill was mentioning that he hadn't seen the film in like 20, 30 years. So you get to experience that uh, with Jack Hill on the audio commentary for a film that he directed and he hadn't seen in such a long, long time. So that's a pretty uh, cool treat on that. So you get a brand new interview with Jack Hill as well, plus archive interviews with the cinematographer Alfred Taylor. And also a Q&A with Hill and actors Colin Camp and uh, Roseanne. Caton, which is uh, recorded at the New Beverly Cinema, and uh, that's in the Fairfax District, um, which is close to Beverly Hills, and I believe uh, that theater is now owned by uh, Quentin Tarantino, so pretty cool uh, Q&A on that, plus you get the uh, TV spots, reversible artwork, and the uh, booklet too, so let's take a look inside the package. 
As far as picture and audio quality, I'm going to rate this one a 4.5 out of a 5 for both audio and video. Overall, really beautiful image, nice and crisp with great color saturation and the grain is intact all the way too. And uh, as far as uh, aspect ratio, this film is presented in the 1.66 format. And this is a region free release, so which is wonderful. So that's the uh, Blu-ray disc, of course, uh, DVD. And you get the original artwork, which I absolutely love the original artwork. Check it out, really nice. And of course, the uh, great booklet with tons of great production notes to read. Overall, really fun film directed by uh, Jack Hill. And uh, yeah, man, lots of hot women this one. As I mentioned, the great nudity as well. Overall, really fun 70s flick to check out. And uh, beautiful, pristine uh, quality thanks to uh, Arrow Video and, um, of course, uh, Blu-ray. So that is my review of uh, Suture and the Swinging Cheerleaders uh, making its uh, Blu-ray debut. Thanks for uh, taking a look at my review, and I'll see you guys soon in my next update. Take care.